pantry well stocked with spaghetti sauce is one of my secrets to getting dinner on the table for my family in a pinch. But you don't always have to use it for pasta. Today I'm using ragu simply roasted garlic sauce in an unexpected way to braise delicious short ribs for a ciabatta sub sandwich. Mm. Yep, that's what right, ladies. Yeah. Mm. As you can see, Allie and Shirley and pa uh, Paige, Kimmy, oh, close that's Kim, <laughs> just another blonde, yeah. are waiting <laughs> patiently for my delicious ciabatta. All right, now, anytime you make short ribs, I know you know this, Kim, you have to brown the short ribs first. Yes, mm. I did. You know that, I know. I wrote the book. <laughs> she wrote the book on browning short ribs. It's very important. You want to get this beautiful crust, mm -hmm. this sort of caramelization on the outside of the meat because that's how it's going to be yummy and delicious and flavorful. Otherwise, it's almost as if you're just steaming the entire piece right. of meat and you want a little bit of different texture. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to want to brown them either in a Dutch oven, in a um, whatever stovetop pan, any sort of a... Um, maybe a, you know, a, a, a cast iron skillet, yeah. and then set them aside. You're gonna also wanna keep some of the fond in there, which are the drippings from the meat, because it's gonna make it that much more delicious. Do you worry about them getting tough or overcooking? Like, I feel like I'd overcook it or something. No, it it's, it's not gonna happen, because look how big and thick this piece yeah. of meat is. Now, you're really just getting that color on the outside for four yeah. to five minutes on each side, and it's really gonna give it that extra flavor, I promise you that. So set those aside, and then in your, just so you know, a baking dish, you're gonna put your mirepoix, which I know you know, Kim. Obviously. <laughs> are onions, <laughs> yes. carrots, and celery. All right, so you put that in there, then you're gonna take your beautiful short ribs that you have over here resting that you've already browned and caramelized. Oh, right you're gonna put them on top and you're gonna take some of those drippings, mm -hmm. like I talked about, that are in the pan, left in the pan, and right. pour those in here as well. Then, my favorite part, I am pouring a full jar I love that sound. Yeah. Of ragu simply roasted garlic sauce into the baking dish. Now this shortcut makes getting dinner on the table so easy. And my favorite thing about this is, it's made with 100% olive oil and it contains no added sugar. Mm, and I will tell you that is good. very important for me and my family. You know how much I love olive oil. Yeah. Yeah. It's so great. good for you. And you can smoke yeah. the garlic. Yeah. I love oh, that. isn't that it's nice? Me I love it. I mean, to be honest with you, I love this on just about anything. Yeah. All right, now <laughs> we take aluminum foil, very important part as well. This step is super important. You want to cover it before you put it in the oven. Why? The reason for this, Kim, which you already know, but I'll tell you anyway. I, know, I was asking <laughs> for a friend. Right. I was asking right. for a friend. You, put, you cover it with aluminum foil because you're going to cook this in the oven low and slow, 300 degrees for about two and a half to three hours. Now, putting the, the aluminum foil over it, my goodness, that's heavy ensures that it does steam at this point right. and it makes that meat just pull Steamy. apart tender, Ooh. very juicy, and you can just use your forks to just shred it. The sauce goes really right into it. the yeah. meat. Yes, exactly like right. Yeah. Okay, so now, there we go. Oh my goodness, oh. you get a little bit of a workout. Yeah. <laughs> so, after two and a half, three hours, make sure you check your oven. This is what it's gonna look like. Oh wow. Now you nice. could just put that on the table and serve it just wow. like that because it is quite beautiful and it, it makes an impact. Yeah, I feel uh, like they're good enough to eat at this point, but you really take it the extra mile. Well, they are really delicious, but let me show you this. Watch this. You can just pull it apart, see that? Yeah. Oh, Do you wow. see the inside of that? Oh, yeah. And those juices, Wow! That's my goodness. Nice. And you could eat it like this, and then the next day, make what I'm about to make for you yeah. guys. If you have any left over, I'm not sure you will. So I'm gonna make you this ciabatta sandwich. Mm. So let's put this over yeah. here. You get a beautiful piece of really thick ciabatta. Wow. Ooh. And then, if you want to, you can hollow out some of this bread in here, because yeah. I know, Kim, you like to do that. Yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. And then you add this, the meat that I'm pulling apart. You don't want to just put it in there as is, because it might be a little too difficult to actually, you know, to eat. That's just pulling apart. Yeah. Look, it's so easy. Beautiful. And the carrots right. really and the onions have melted completely. Right. Yeah. So just this. Then you fill her up, and you use some of that sauce as well. Oh. And in front of me, I also have some Fontina cheese and some pickled peppers. Right. How did that go? It's almost like a gourmet peck to pick sandwich. Peck to yeah. peppers. I love that yeah. for presentation. Yeah. Like if you're having people over for lunch, just kind of putting that on the table. Yeah. It really is quite beautiful. Yeah. And see, as you can see, because this ciabatta bread is so big, I mean, you could have a smaller bread, but you do want a substantial piece of bread because you don't want it to fall apart. Right. Yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like I want to take a bite right now, but yeah. I'm making this for you <laughs> guys. And we are on TV, You're so I will doing a great contain job myself. Yeah. Now, All right, wow. so now, some fontina, Ooh. some pickled peppers, and nice. a little piece of basil. 
I feel like Lights Molly like would have so much fun making this sandwich with yeah. me. Oh, I know. She'd probably want the whole sandwich to herself, though. Uh, like, this is Molly all or Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, and I just lost a pickled pepper. That'll and be okay. Fresh basil's a nice touch. Oh, isn't that's, that beautiful? Yeah. yeah. Gotta have some. Good Who was that that pecked the pickled peppers? Peter. Peter. Yes. yes. Peter. <laughs> Peter pecked Peter a Peter peck of pick a pickle Peppers. something like Peter that. Piper. I don't know. Something. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Yeah. <laughs> ding 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 ding. All right. Now I also have a little tip on how to cut this because this could get tricky. You know, you probably would want to say serve it open face if you think that you're not going to be able to cut through this bread, but you will be able to. I promise you. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's giant. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sandwich for a giant. You take these long toothpicks, you can get these anywhere, they sell them at the grocery mm -hmm. store, mm -hmm. and just put it straight through the bread, just like that, so it's keeping it together. Now, because this is such a substantial piece of bread, like I said, you're, gonna, you're not gonna have much trouble, but this is just for double insurance. And then you just go like this, put your hand right there, oh. press it down. That is done. so smart. That's good. Wow, yeah, for the that's portions. Great. I like that. Done. And it's all staying right in there. Right yeah, in there. Like because, yeah, wow. what you don't want is all of the goodness and gooiness to start popping out of the sides. God, I got to say, part. Ragu Sauce definitely built the success of their Simply line with their new roasted garlic oh. sauce. And, Debbie, you have built the oh. success of these short ribs oh. with your sandwich. This is incredible. Yeah, Thank great. you. Okay, Allie, are you ready? Yes. Yours is giant. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. I'm hungry. <laughs> there you go. Thank Enjoy. you so much. I don't even. I don't know. Mine is pretty massive, I have to say. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you guys, you can find this ragu simply roasted garlic sauce at grocery stores nationwide, and you can grab Debbie's recipe on HallmarkChannel.com.